Hey y'all, my name is Alexis and it's my little girl Ava. Say hey Ava. And we started something a couple weeks ago that we wanted to share with you all. What did we start, Ava? We started about Bible study. Right, so we do Bible study. We start with like a discussion. After the discussion, we go over the scripture and I might tell them a story or tell Ava a story about um, what we're talking about and then we go into prayer. So I want you to start doing this with your children. I'm going to show you how we do it. Um, and once you do it, tag us at the prayer handbook and um, let me know how it went. All right, so Ava, today we're going to talk about fear. Do you know what fear is? Yes. What is fear? Fear is like something you'd be scared of. So, give me some things that you are scared of. Are you scared of anything? Yes, I'm scared of shadows. Shadows? I'm scared of and being in the dark by myself. And I'm scared of being in, in a place by myself in the darkness. All right, good. So you're scared of shadows. I heard you say you're scared of being in the dark. And then you're scared of being by yourself in the dark, right? In so, a room. Right, in a room. So when you are afraid, did you know that you can call on Jesus or pray because God is always with you? Did you know that? Yes. So what do we do? What can we do when we are afraid? How can we pray? We can pray. Like, we can say prayers. We can say, God have given me the spirit of fear to be, God have given me the spirit of fear to be afraid. Right, so thank you. You are ahead of me. Are you in my notes? Because this was next. So our scripture today is 2 Timothy 1 and 7, and it says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power love and self-control and all that means is that we don't have to be afraid because god is always with us so with that being said do you know what the opposite of fear is the opposite of fear is to have courage when you're courageous that means you're not afraid and we don't have to be afraid because god is with us what does courage look like to you do you know can you give me an example of what courage is? When somebody's not afraid, that mean maybe what? They is they not scared of nothing. Right. So they're not scared of anything. So basically they walk in what? Walk in school and not be a, they walk in school by themselves and not be afraid of school. All right, so they can walk to school, they're not afraid. And you know where that power comes from? God. Right, that power comes from God. So we lean and depend on him, especially in times when we are afraid. So we say scriptures like this, God has not given us the spirit of fear. We remember that we do not have to be afraid because God is with us. So next I'm going to tell you a story about somebody that was scared in the Bible, okay? So there was this man named Moses, and Moses is very special because God wanted him to deliver his people okay so there were a group of people and they were in slavery you remember when we talked about slavery what is slavery slavery means like people 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 want them to do stuff and they don't do it they go hit them or, or put them in time now or something like that yeah so slavery is like bondage. They make you do stuff and sometimes when you don't do it, they punish you and the punishment is usually cruel. So he had to deliver the people from slavery, from the bad man, from the Pharaoh, and he was scared. So he asked God to help him. And when he asked God to help him, he sent somebody named Aaron, which is his brother. So sometimes God can send our brothers, our family, our friends, our moms and dads to help us when we are our afraid. Grandma. Or our grandmas, yes, to help us when we are afraid. Papa. Or your papa, yes. So he sent his brother and he didn't have to be afraid no more. So they ran in the uh, Pharaoh's palace and told him to let his people go. And eventually Pharaoh had to let them go. Okay? So we talked about fear, we talked about courage, we read our scripture, and we talked about a story. Now we're going to end it here with the prayer. So 
we want to thank God today for being with us. Thank God for all he has done, all he's going to do, and all he will do. Lord, we pray that you give my dear daughter and other little girls and boys like her the strength to be courageous and to not be afraid. God has not given us the spirit of fear. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you. So, yes, y'all, that's our Bible study. It's quick. It's under 10 minutes. I want y'all to do the same thing with your little girls and your little boys. Also, we have a book of prayers, The Prayer Princess and The Prayer Prince, where you can download and share these prayers with your little girl and your little boy. So, stay tuned. Every Wednesday, me and Ava are going to do this, y'all. I want you to do it with your little kids as well. So, Ava, tell the people bye. Bye. We enjoyed y'all. See y'all soon. Thank you.